<laughs> you can't do that. Who do you think you are? Oh my gosh, there's no way you're going to be successful doing that. Yep, we all have them in our lives and we'll probably have them in our lives in the future. You know, those negative people, those naysayers that are so negative, they never seem to find their way to being able to have the ability to see your big picture, your big passion. Well, I have four tips for you on how you can handle these negative people. Hi, I'm Naomi Skorzynski with the Top Shelf VA channel, your place for creativity, inspiration for business and life. Now, if you're new here, please take one second, yep, right now, and click on that subscribe button. Then click on the bell icon and check notifications for Top Shelf VA and save. You'll then receive a quick notice when I load a highly informative or a fun video for your viewing pleasure. Okay, how do we handle those really negative people, those naysayers in our lives? Sometimes it's as simple as a matter of walking away from these pessimistic individuals and not allowing them back into our lives. But some of these negative people are in our lives for a reason. Turning and walking away may not be an immediate option. Look, if you want to start a business, if you want to go after a change in careers, or if you want to become an artist, a musician, a dancer, if you want to follow your passions, then you need to do it. People who set goals to achieve their dreams or their passions and work hard towards them are usually much happier people. But then, it's not whether they failed or succeeded, it's that they at least try. But what do you do with the negative people who seem to constantly negate your goals? What do you do if you can't walk away? What do you do if you catch yourself succumbing to the negative energy of these naysayers? That can become the absolute worst thing that could happen to you. Having these naysayers, pessimistic, negative people around you, and you beginning to build your own internal negative messenger? Mm -mm. Nothing is worse than being your own negative critic. Here are those four tips I promised on how to handle the negative people and naysayers in your life. First, understand these individuals usually come from a place of fear. It's important to understand many people handle their fears in a negative way. This fear can manifest itself as pessimism, envy, or jealousy. Their fear could be that if you are successful or happy going after your goals, it will be proof in their eyes of their own inadequacies. So try to determine if the person is being negative to be negative, or does this person have some actual experience having attempted what you are attempting? Try to be objective. Could you learn from this person's experience? Could this person have some valuable insight to share with you? You can either say, I really appreciate your sharing your opinion. However, this goal is extremely important to me and I need as much positivity as possible around me. So if this is something you don't feel comfortable in being supportive of, then let's simply not talk about it, okay? Or if the person has had experience in what you're attempting to do, you could say, no, I really appreciate your opinion. It sounds like you have some experience in this area. And you know what? I'm still going to go after this. And I would like to know more about your experience. Maybe what you have to share can help me avoid some of the pitfalls or figure out a different way to get around some of the obstacles. By approaching it this way, you can change the dynamic of the conversation because the negative person has now been asked to share his experience so you can succeed. If their knowledge in some small part helps you to succeed, they get to have some pride in saying they helped you succeed. Second, be prepared with your research. Negative people are going to be your major detractors. They're going to come up with every reason imaginable as to why you could not be successful, why you can't go after your goals. Many times they are basing their opinions not on facts, but misinformation. If you have done your research, if you have a game plan of how you are going to approach your goals, 
then you can quickly provide rebuttal answers to all of their concerns. When someone tells you you're not going to be successful because of X, Y, and Z, you have your research to back you up and can give them a rebuttal of, well, you know what? Yeah, I've heard about X, Y, and Z. However, to avoid that, I'm going to do A, B, C, D, E, and F. Third, change the ratio of negative people in your life. Definitely walk away from those negative naysayers that you can, and the ones you can't walk away from, change that ratio as quickly as possible. For every negative person in your life, try to surround yourself with a minimum of five positive people who will support you during while you're going after your goals. Have your own cheerleader squad that will always be in your corner, encouraging you to keep going through the good times and the bad. The more positive people you have in your life results in the negative people's voices becoming quieter. Fourth, and most important, quiet your own negative inner messenger. We can be our own worst negative critic. We need to learn quickly how to quiet our own personal negative naysayer that is living inside of ourselves. That internal negative dweller can easily take hold and suction the life out of us if we allow it. It becomes even stronger if we have negative people around us. There are several tools we can use to quiet the negative person residing inside, from meditation, prayer, taking a walk, music, mantras, whatever works for you. Now, I have a very basic and simple mantra I use to completely wipe out a negative thought so I can move on to more positive thoughts quickly. It's an easy mantra I can do anywhere, and no one would be the wiser. Find what works for you and do it consistently whenever a negative thought pops into your head. Before you know it, your negative inner messenger will be pretty much silenced. There you have it. Four ways to handle the negative people and naysayers in your life. Negative people usually come from a place of fear. Do your research so you easily have rebuttals for negative people. Change the ratio of positive people to more than negative people. And quiet your own inner negative person residing inside of yourself. So my question for you is how do you handle the negative people in your life? Do you have anything to add? Make sure to let us know in the comments below. As usual, the full edition of this report can be found on TopShelfVA.com. Thank you so much for watching. As always, this is Naomi with TopShelfVA.com. Until we meet again, have a wonderful day.